ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम और क्लास एज सच बट देन यस आई थिंक एंड आई होप इफ यू आर एन एफ मोटिवेटेड वी कैन यूटिलाइज दिस लेजी आफ्टरनून इन टू Or turn this lazy afternoon into a, some fruitful uh, time that we can spend together and learn something from each other. So uh, let us start. I'm Dr. Nidhi Singh, and uh, I'll be taking your session on integration of ICT into geography. And all are all are from geography background, right? Ah uh, no, ma'am. It's a mix of thing. Uh, we are It's from mix of thing. Okay, so you are from which? Which which four four subjects in uh, uh, secondary level? Ah, just social science in general, na right? ठीक है. So uh, I'll be uh, doing the same thing. I mean the uh, integration of ICT into social sciences. So uh, let us start and e-content development also along with it. So uh, let us start. I'll just share my screen with you. Can you see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. So, yes, ma uh, yes, ma yeah. So we will be mainly dealing with the integration of ICT into teaching learning process, and at the same time, uh, um, uh, creation of e-content for the social, all the social science subjects in general. So, uh, while we uh, just to start with, uh, while we are trying to integrate ICT into teaching learning process in general. uh not just social science or any particular subject so these four questions we need to keep in mind that is what why for whom and how so these four questions are very important uh and we will be dealing with it uh, in detail um what means what purpose do we want to why why do we want to uh, integrate ict and to make it clear here i would like to say that integration of ict into teaching learning is a broad concept broader uh, field and then creation of e content is a part of it so we may not create an e content we might uh, only integrate ict and use it in teaching learning and might not create an e content but creating an e content is is definitely a part of integration of ict into teaching learning process so the purpose what is the purpose so for uh, integration of ict then theme and topic to be covered and conceptualization these three things are important points to be considered while uh, thinking about what what question so what means all these things next is why so why do we need to integrate uh, ict so what is the purpose of it uh, and what is the it uh, what is the advantage of integration of ict <clears throat> over the traditional way of teaching learning so a uh, what and then why so why question is very important another matlab uh, second question that is important the third question is for whom so for whom are we planning to integrate ict that is a target group what is a target group be uh, whether they are students and if they are st or teachers or teacher educators or whom for whom are we going to do it and if there are there are uh, students then uh, uh, then of which stage they belong to which stage the foundational stage or preparatory stage or uh, middle stage or secondary stage and then for which matlab which subject or target area for which subject are we are trying to integrate ict into teaching learning process so this was the third question now the fourth question is how are we going to do it so the type of resources or e content is very important and then then tools so uh, depending upon the types of resources and e content the tools used are very important so what sorts of what what sort of tools are we uh, trying to uh, use for that so these were the four questions that we need to keep in mind while integrating ict into teaching learning process one is for what then why then for whom and sorry and then how 
so uh, next is okay so now we have thought okay what purpose do why we want to integrate what we want to integrate why we want to integrate for whom we want to integrate and how we are going to integrate now uh, we are moving towards by doing this and thinking and uh, then uh, trying to integrate ICT into teaching learning process uh, uh, we are trying to change our roles from the traditional way of teaching or traditional uh, teachers that we used to have or we we were or we uh, have been uh, exposed to. So uh, for a teacher to create an e-content or integrate ICT into teaching learning in an effective manner, one needs to have this three types of knowledges uh, that have been uh, or demar, I mean, demarcated. And uh, uh, these are technological knowledge, then pedagogical knowledge, and content knowledge. So, a TPAC model, which is uh, commonly used uh, while we uh, try to understand integration of technology into e ET and ICT, is the TPAC model. So, uh, we need to have technological knowledge, we need to have a content knowledge, we need to have pedagogical knowledge. Content knowledge, we, I consider that we generally have, we are subject experts, so we have that content knowledge. Then pedagogical knowledge also to some extent we have because we have been teaching in uh, uh, schools you know, in a face-to-face -face manner and then Technological knowledge means little bit of technology. Uh, we are, if we are okay with the technology, which means we need not be ICT, uh, IT professionals, but then yes, uh, we can uh, develop PPT if we can, uh, you know, record a video, edit a bit. We can record audio, uh, and then we can edit a bit. So these are some of the we can record a video. We can have online sessions. So. Uh, these things are uh, included in this uh, technological uh, knowledge. So what, what is considered is that an, an ideal uh, teacher who, who is uh, uh, ready for or who is trying to integrate ICT into uh, teaching learning process needs to have these three uh, important knowledges with him or her. Now, uh, now next is types of e-content. So anything which is an electronic form is an e-content. So be it e-text, be it image, be it graph, chart, map, diagram, audio, video, interactives, infographics, anything of all these things are e-content. So e-content is the full form of e-content is electronic content. So it looks a little fancy, but then it's it's nothing very uh, difficult. Anything it uh, which is in the form of electronic mode medium is an e-content. Now, this is an example uh, of an e -content. This is an infographic of uh, importance of Himalayas. So, uh, we, if we are trying to teach importance of Himalaya, just for an example, or importance of any uh, thing, we can do it in the form of infographic. We also have infographics in newspapers, magazines, etc., uh, flyers, etc., so that uh, they can uh, communicate the information in an interesting manner. Now, uh, okay, so now we have these four questions in our mind while integrating ICT. Then we have uh, this TPAC model, uh, I mean, thing that uh, we uh, we have, we need to have all these three uh, important qualities in us, that is content knowledge, pedagogical knowledge, and then uh, technological knowledge. And then we know what are the types of uh, content, e-content. Now, we are trying to develop an e-content. So for that, uh, this is a an ADI model, that is a model which shows the generic process traditionally used by instructional designers and training developers. So uh, all these, this is the process, I mean the process through which uh, an e-content is developed. So A stands for uh, analyze, uh, which means uh, it needs to be the needs, requirements, etc. of the target audience uh, has to be kept in mind. Then design. This means that uh, uh, the learning objects, uh, objectives, etc. are thought in this process. I mean, in, at this stage, then we need to develop. That means it, uh, create a prototype or actually develop an e-content. Then implement. 
then we, when we are trying to uh, implement in e content in a training program and then evaluate that means the awareness knowledge behavior results etc are evaluated through all these things so this is the rd model and for a simple example that i give uh, generally give is that i prepared a this e content that is a presentation that this ppt for you this is also an e content i analyzed first a stands for analysis so i analyzed the uh, that what is the need and requirement of the uh, participants of this training program then uh, i designed what all things to be included in the presentation i designed this <clears throat> then i actually developed this uh, e-content, I mean, this presentation, then uh, I am I'm implementing right now on you people. I'm showing this with the help of my, uh, along with my lecture that I'm giving. And then I will be, you will be, you might be evaluated later on. You might be uh, given, you might be given a few questions to solve depending upon this or maybe later if you ask questions or if I ask you something, you will respond. So that will be, a part of the evaluation process. Am I clear to everyone? Are you able to understand? Because we have a small group, you can say, yes, switch on your audio and say. Yes, ma'am. Understood. Yes, ma I'm not going very fast, right? Yes, ma'am. Proper. Okay, thank you. Now, let's see. These are some of the uh, tools that we, or ICT, uh, uh, tools that we uh, use for uh, integration of ICT into teaching learning process of social science and also for creation of e-content. So uh, these are the, this is the list. You can get it from your coordinators. I'll be sharing uh, the uh, presentation with them. Uh, they must also, they must be having it also. Then uh, the first one is Bhuvan. Bhuvan is an indig indigenous uh, uh, platform developed by ISRO. And uh, they have lots of information, all the government data released by government on different heads, on different topics is there. You can create a map. You can go through the uh, already created. They, they have some maps for different population, then SC population, ST population. You have uh, um, historical monuments. You know, all these things, details uh, of all those things are there. Then forest data is there. Then uh, uh, disaster management, hazard data is there. Then you have flood data. You have, you know, all sorts of things are there. Then uh, you have 3D uh, model of the earth. You have 2D uh, uh, form in which you can show the data and all those things are there. Then you have Marble KD. This is especially for geography. You have, no, sorry, not for geography. Uh, this Marble KD also has, uh, you know, historical maps also. And you can, you have the 3D rotating earth. You can create a map. You can create the, you know, calculate the distance. Then you have already map created maps of, you know, historical maps, you know, 1842 or 1600 something. So while you are explaining your students about the, uh, changes that have been made in the, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, reorganization of uh, uh, states of India or uh, how the countries have been reorganized or some political happenings that has taken, have that have taken place in the past and all those things. You can open these maps, historical maps, and you can explain them. You have street map also, you know, you can zoom in till the street. In fact, even in Bhuvan also. Then you have Google Earth. Google Earth, some of us may or might have uh, used this uh, uh, tool for teaching learning. And uh, it is it has beautiful, uh, you know, pictures of various uh, places, museums. You have uh, pictures and photographs of, you know, famous personalities, historical figures. Then you have uh, paintings in that. You have uh, uh, video clippings of related to nature, related to you know um, uh, culture and all those things. So you already have it in then in the in uh, this clippings also, and you can also create one using it. You can have three D rotating earth and all those things. You can show it to students. QGIS is a, again a, um, one uh, free and open source software. Marble KD is also free and open source software. So you can, what is free and open source software? Anybody can tell me? 
you must have had a session on that post and uh, it can be available for everyone uh, ma'am can you repeat it it's a free of cost we can download it freely and uh, everybody uh -huh. can use it and there is no copyright uh, issue in that you can modify it also according to your my or choice or your requirements so we call it you can customize it according to your requirements so uh, qgis marble kd all the kd all these are uh, free and open source software there there is no uh, copyright issue uh, with that then uh, trophy is one software uh, which is uh, which is a uh, please you know you can call it an online library kind of things like we have an online repository or of songs music all these things uh, or uh, information so we have trophy which can be considered as an online library for storing uh, you know or photo album maybe for storing various documents of uh, you know ancient documents and various very important document documents that we have uh, you can save yours also you can access others also then uh, uh, you have windy.com where you can see the actual uh, real time weather conditions taking place happening in the world uh, then you have uh, stellarium this is again a free and open source software you can download it and uh, uh, your uh, iPad, iPhone, or you know, uh, Apple laptop, or uh, your uh, Ubuntu uh, system, or Windows, any, 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 at any place, and uh, then you can use it. And Stellarium shows you gives you a virtual uh, picture of the feel of the uh, existing, you know, real time celestial bodies that are existing in the uh, sky, I mean, the, the space. So right now it's daytime in our country, but still we can find, we can look at the position of uh, uh, various uh, astronomical bodies or celestial bodies uh, right at the place where I am. So if I'm sitting in Delhi and at my place, my, my house, I'm exactly, what what is the, what are the, uh, celestial bodies that are existing in the sky, I can see with the help of Stellarium, uh, despite that it is a daytime. So it, it looks beautiful. You can also see, uh, you know, the satellites moving. I'll show you if we have time. Then we have Sutori. Sutori is an online uh, repository kind of thing where you can find uh, various lesson plans. So uh, if you have to teach a topic, uh, how to go about with that topic, what all things to be include uh, to make it, uh, uh, what, uh, what all things you can include to make it in an interesting class, you can get some ideas. So the teachers, it is for teachers also. And uh, you can get lots of lesson plans for various subjects, for various stages. Uh, you can get an idea. So how to go about for a you know, topic. Then you have flightradar24.com. In this, you can see the real time a flight movement uh, all over the world. Uh, so uh, it is useful in day-to-day -day life also if you're traveling to flight. You can have a look at the uh, traffic that is there. And why is it important when we are teaching travel and tourism and all those things related to that uh, or planning and infrastructure accordingly. So we need to refer to this uh, flight flightradar24.com just to show how, uh, you know, uh, travel, uh, how, how dense network of uh, uh, you know, flight system, I mean, the flight paths are there in a particular city. So the busier the city is, the bigger, the city, larger the city is, more dynamic the city is, the more traffic, uh, flight traffic will be there. <laughs> then we have Google Arts and Culture. Here we have lots of photographs. We have, you know, 360 degree videos. We have a uh, virtual, you know, uh, look at the we uh, at the uh, museums etc. That we the, all over of all across the world is already there. Uh, then you have Google Cardboard. It's a kind of virtual reality kind of thing that you have ha headsets. So this was the uh, Google Cardboard was the first, you know, very initially they introduced it. Uh, the headset was made up of cardboard, very cheap as compared to the ones that we have now. And then you have some mirror uh, 
used uh, was placed there and you can put your mobile phone in that and with the angle the, the things can be reflected and then uh, in a virtual reality manner virtually you could see the <laughs> of, uh, videos or pictures uh, embedded in that so uh, other generic tools like Audacity, Open Shot Video Editor, Canva, and various animation tools, etc., can also be uh, uh, used for creating like easily. Also, we have templates in that video. You can use it uh, and create various uh, uh, e-content using all these generic tools. Also, so generic tools means it can be used. These can be used for other subjects also. Then you have various games. Uh, that you can use National Geographic Kids. This website has lots of games. Geo Guesser has various uh, uh, games. Then uh, this is also uh, you can modify it according to your needs. Then Google Arts and Culture also has uh, lots of games in that. Songs on topics related to Mar uh, 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 you know for various topics you can find. Marais and Miranda. Whether once uh, to start this kind of uh, you know use of audio or songs maybe for various topics. So they have songs on nature, they have songs on balance of nature, how is silk made, parts of a tree, etc. Then uh, I'm sure your you know, folk songs in your um, area, in your state must also be having some reference of, uh, you know, the culture, the nature, the environment, or some mishappening or some, you know, a natural phenomena, phenomena, or agriculture, sewing, something related to that. So uh, you must be having, you just need to uh, focus your, uh, you know, uh, approach towards that. And you can record those uh, songs and you can make the your children hear, I mean, the, your students hear that. So by that, uh, you know, you they will also be exposed to their, uh, the culture that they uh, that they have they will also be exposed to uh you know the fact that how the traditional i mean that the culture it is uh they are integrated with that and the, the things that they are studying in the class that is related that they can be related to uh the natural i mean surrounding or the culture that they have so uh, by these are some of the things by which uh, these are some of the tools and the manner in which you can uh, integrate ICT into teaching learning of social sciences, it is subjects of social sciences. Uh, next, let us just have a look at some of the uh, uh, things that I've been explaining to you. Uh, some of the tools, these are some of the screenshots of some of the tools that I've been uh, explaining to you. This is Bhuvan, and you have uh, lots of uh, 2D Bhuvan, Bhuvan 3D, climate and environment, various you know, features are there. Then you have the slider is there on the main page only. You have e-governance, tourism, urban, rural. Lots of, you know, uh, the initiatives by governments are there. In tourism, you have all the archaeological sites uh, determined, I mean, the identified by the ASI and few details of it. You have uh, thematic services, ocean services, disaster management services. <laughs> and then you have... Other features like uh, special applications, e-governance dashboards, state-wise applications and all. You can just explore. It is very easy to explore. You can register or otherwise also you can use it. Then you have this uh, uh, Marble KD. You can install it from here for various uh, you know uh, systems that you have. These are some of the features that Marble has. You have a classic topography, you have a, a open street map, you have satellite view, Behem Globe 1492. I was telling you ancient, you know, uh, maps are also there. Very, very old historical maps are there. Earth at night, historical map of 1689, plain map, political map, and few other features are already there. They are, they are already existing. You can also create one using the data. Uh, and uh, there is a, you know, uh, help and, uh, you know, other features, uh, uh, some tutorials are there. So the developers, for developers, see, there's an option for developers. If you want to develop something, you can go into that and uh, explore and do it accordingly, according to your need. This is Google Earth. As I told you, 3D Earth, you can see. Then you have this option here, Voyager projects, map style, photographs. If you click to Voyager, see, 
lots of options are there nature games layers a street view culture you know all these things education etc are there so there is a 3d imagery in google earth there is time time lapse in google earth the treks uh to uh, you know this yosemite national park and all lots of things are there in culture you can find cultural features you know uh, 360 uh, sorry videos are also there photographs of their of their for various cultural features of all over the world travel also you can find historical figures and features and all then you have this qgis i was telling you free and open source software for creating maps then you have this trophy as uh, this it looks like this explore your research photos as i told you it's a, it's a, it can be called as an online uh, photo album kind of thing then you have this uh, windy.com as i told you you will have uh, you can see various you know real time uh, weather conditions and that while we are explaining uh, uh, we have when when we have, uh, we explain to students right uh, in various classes that uh, we have when we are having winter season in northern hemisphere we have summer season in the southern hemisphere so you can show it actually by opening this then we have stellarium it looks like that mm, uh, then this is tutorial where, where we had uh, uh, collaborative learning with help uh, lesson plans etc are there flight radar 24.com as i told you these are yellow yellow things are the flights that are uh, moving real time this is Google Art and Culture. Uh, you can find it, this Google Arts and Culture from the, uh, you know, say nine dots that we have in our Gmail. You click on that and then drop down comes and then only we can we open this uh, Google Drive. So there will only, from that drop down only, if you, if you, you will scroll, you will find that Google Arts and Culture. And then you, if there you have lots of things, for example, uh art camera 360 degree videos then you have street view you have this uh, artists uh then you have this uh, uh mediums then you have art move movements then you have this uh, uh museum nee, historic historic move events this is a historical figures so you can get access to all these things from google arts and culture then you have this Google Cardboard, as I was talking to telling you, the first one people to start this uh, virtual reality thing in a reasonable uh, price, at reasonable price. This is the National Geographic Kids. I was talking about uh, quizzes and all, um, games and all. You can have it from here. Games, videos, animals, explore more, subscribe. So you can have uh, access to games from here. Then you have... Uh, this geo guesser from here you can uh, help the children to play or you know what you can do is like uh, once in a month or fortnight you can take your ch students to a uh, computer lab and you can uh, make them um, play such games and uh, groups so that it makes interesting you know the, the class you make the class interesting you can also create such games or you can record all these things what you are doing on your uh, laptop or system by using some screen recorder and you can create an e-content accordingly then you have this google arts and culture i was as i was talking to you uh this is uh, lots of games are there pick a game to play pottery what came first then cultural crossword, visual crosswords, opera, then puzzle party, art coloring book, zoo artwork, guess the line, uh, where is Hopper? You know, all these things. Lots of uh, games are there. You can uh, teach your students to play this. And these are, you know, these days, uh, games, puzzles, etc. are considered to be very good uh, medium ways or ways to explore, you know, to evaluate what children have understood and how much they have understood so you know you know usually they are very scared of uh, uh, this uh, exams or tests so they become anxious also so with the help of these in a playful manner you can evaluate them these are some of the suggested readings that i would like you to go through and uh, uh, references sorry and uh, these are the youtube uh, you know links of various uh, tools that are there and uh, sessions that were recorded and 
uh, uh, CIT and they have been uh, shared in the this uh, uh, NCRT YouTube channel. You can refer to that and you can explore these tools that I have explained. Then these are some of the suggested readings that we have. And uh, this NEP 2020 and NCF also, the new NCF also, uh, gives lots of weightage to use of technology because you know they can have an uh, they can uh, students can become active learners and they can uh, you can make the your classes more interesting with the help of uh, uh, these things. So, uh, anybody has any question, or should I show you some of the things you can maybe simultaneously open in your uh, system also? Ma'am, uh, screen record you said, no? Uh, ha, any you... tool for screen recording, ma'am. Uh, you can uh, use any tool for screen recording. Or in your, if you have an, uh, a better version of uh, uh, this uh, 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 presentation, uh, PPT, where we make presentation, there also you have an option of recording the screen. So you can uh, record it. We generally have a paid version so i i mean not and you can find uh, in n number of, of software not uh, sorry not uh, all the softwares are paid but then you have lots of them you can free freely you can uh, use that you have the paid versions also you can uh, in the powerpoint presentation you have an option of recording the screen so you can just explore i'll just go through uh i'll show you some of the things uh, like uh, Bhuvan, you had a detail. I'll show you this uh, windy.com. You just have to write windy.com. You can see my screen, right? Yes, ma'am. Ah, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So, uh, see, this is the This is the windy.com and these white, white lines that are moving, these are the winds. So if you uh, zoom in, zoom out is from here. If you zoom out. Then you can see these uh, white lines moving. These are the winds, actually, we, uh, how they are moving in the direction when we teach uh, that... Uh, uh, winds move in uh, from west to east or from east to west and they convert seas for example when we uh, showed them that uh, if there is low pressure area the will, uh, wind will move uh, anti-clockwise and converge uh, at that point so you can on wind, uh, wind is moving from high pressure area to low pressure area so you can show them actually by using uh, this windy.com and it looks beautiful if, if, some, if somewhere there is a you know, cyclonic depression or, you know, I might sound a little uh, sadist, but then, yes, it looks beautiful what to say. I'm, uh, you know, if you look at it. And these are the, you know, temperature. There's lots of options are there. The Darren satellite, wind, right now, wind is, uh, so we can see the wind. Then wind gust can also be seen, rain and thunder from temperature. Let's see temperature so if we, we we explain the students that uh if we are we have summer season in the northern hemisphere uh we have winter season in the uh, uh sorry when uh, if we have some uh, summer season in the northern hemisphere we have winter season in the southern hemisphere so we have all summer season uh kind of you know autumn in the northern hemisphere so we have winters in the summer hemisphere the uh, areas near equator is warmer so see you can see the these uh, places these are warmer and the legend is here degree centigrade minus 20 10 minus 10 0 and as it becomes hotter it gets red, more red and dark red so you can show it by opening this so let's see if we have some uh, you know uh, if we switch to Suppose rain, uh, rain and thunder. See, uh, millimeter me. Uh, you can see this uh, millimeter. The rain is from one point five millimeter to two, three, seven, ten, twenty, thirty. This way, rain and thunder all over the world. You can see the real time exactly at this point of time. Then, if we want to uh, see clouds see we can see the clouds also if we want to see the waves how see 
sea waves, how they are moving. And from cold area to, oh, oh, sorry, cold area to warm, warm area to cold area, and then how they are affecting the uh, climates nearby. And then we have gyres also. We all explain all these things while we are teaching them ocean currents and how they influence the weather system. So we have all these things. Uh, we can show it. Hurricane if it's there. See, today, here, the cyclonic depression is there. Off the coast of, off the east coast of this side. See, we can easily see and show them how wind is getting attracted towards this low pressure area. Right? East China and all these areas will be affected by this. Okay, so let's move to another. Uh, I'll just close this. Then I will show you Stellarium. Stellarium Astronomy Software. You can click on this. You have this, and uh, I'm clicking on Stellarium Web because I don't want to download it right now. I have already downloaded uh, it on my phone, and we use it. Uh, me and my daughter use it for watching the sky at any point of time. So it asks, uh, know your location. Uh, Stellarium Web dot org wants to know your location. I'm saying allow. So I have allowed. I agree. It uses cookies, some of the cookies. So uh, it says now the location is being seen near Noida. So I'm right now at Noida. And this is the uh, exactly the night sky, uh, sorry, the sky that I uh, I have right now at my location. Uh, so uh, I'll just show you. Uh, it was landscape mode. So you can see the constellations. I clicked on the constellations and all the constellations are being seen. Then I unclick it. I'm clicking it. Then constellations art. We explain the students that what shape it makes. So it shows here also. Uh, then I'm just unclicking it. Then you have atmosphere. If I want to show you, these are the galaxy. Venus, then Ceres. Areas. You see, if I click on this, uh, few details are also there. See, about Venus. This is the periodic comet. I'm just looking at if we have some satellite moving around. The moon is there. Saturn is there. See, Jupiter is there, Uranus, what is this? Okay, Pleiades is there. It is an open cluster. Uh, I can't find any satellite moving right now over my head, I mean, in the sky. Open cluster, you know, all these things. We cannot see it uh, with our naked eyes. Or also with the help of telescope because we do we can we, we are able to see that but we do not get the information regarding that. Okay, so uh these are some of the projections that are there uh that we explain as a methyl, then uh equatorial grid, then we have deep sky objects that are far off. What is this large? Magellanic cloud, barred spiral galaxy that is there. Then we have this also. What is it? Pleiades. 
then we have some things it will come in circle this is small magellanic cloud this is also a galaxy the directions are being seen east west uh, i can't find any satellite moving otherwise we have found many times during training program also satellites moving over the head anyway never mind then we have uh, this uh, night mode this is the night mode so this was all about it it's a beautiful you know place to see for the students about uh, the real time uh, celestial bodies and you know these features of constellations etc uh, then you have uh, I'll show you Google Earth, maybe. No, Google Art and Culture. Okay, I'll show you that. Google Earth also, I can show you. In maybe 5-10 minutes, there will be again 15 to the uh, that main room. So quickly, I'll just show you. What I was telling you that... Uh, okay, by the time it's opening... I'll just show you Google Art and Culture. As I told you, you can find this uh, nine dots here. You click on that. You have this drop down. So you can uh, scroll. And you find lots of things. Google Earth is here also. Jamboard is lots of tools are there. So Arts and Culture. You click on that. The home, explore, play, nearby, favorites, etc. And here you have lots of things. Fashion, natural history. Then you have classical. You have science. Uh, options are there. Today's fun. Then today's topics. Story of the day. Yeah. Street Museum of Art. Street Art London. More street art. Street arts are there. Then you have, um, you know, the, the discovery of photography, all these things are there. Recommended for you. Then you have this. Uh, see, choose your fighter. Uh, tackle tough times in a passionate painter. You can choose a figure, then a personality, which ancient city it is. Quiz is also there. Then test your knowledge is there. What is the biggest dinosaur ever found? You know, all these things are the quizzes are there. Questions are there. So many Roy artists names are there. Then you have a museum spotlight. Keep exploring. You know, all these things are there. Meet the people of Kenya. Exploring the Maya world, wonders of Pakistan, uh, Vayang shadow puppet. Then you have this uh, Cuban art and culture, a century of Polish. You know, art, we, we refer to various arts, etc. Uh, of ancient times to uh, uh, look at the cultural uh, setup that they had at that time. So we have all these things. Then uh, uh, explore if you go here. Art camera, 360 degree videos. You have the, uh, 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 what I showed you during the my presentation in a screenshot. Artists, mediums, art movements, historical events, historical figures, then places. All these things are already there. You just need to use these for your classes and integrate into your uh, teaching learning process and use it for classes. Themes, themes are there. Then... Uh, Collections are there, popular topics. You know, all these things are there. You can uh, access uh, these play if you click on that. As I was telling you, these are lots of games already existing there. You just need to explore what all things you can use uh, during your music, games, puzzles, crossword, coloring, trivia, adventure, all these things are already there. Uh, 
now i think i'll quickly go to google earth oh, it's still open okay so you have this google earth you can rotate it and you can show it uh, then you have uh, uh, what is it? It has changed its looks. Where is the option? It has changed its looks. Some things it has changed. Setting. No, I don't want to change the setting. It has something to, but then I think. So uh, this is the rotating earth. If you zoom it, you can go to various features. Let us go uh, zoom to our India. It has rotated. We are watching it upside down. I can't do it because uh, I don't have a. Okay, never mind. You can zoom it like this. Suppose we zoom to this place. We can see the meandering course of the river. See. Movement of river or you know how the land is, the lakes are there. You know, all these things uh, we can see. Now we are moving towards Janufkat. And these are some of the, you know, depositions that are there. We can also zoom in, you know, make it like this. A 3D format, and then we can move accordingly. And how the mountains look like, and how the plateaus look like, we can show the students this way. I can also make it 2D. See 3D, how beautiful it is looking. The elevated portions are there. Right? So we can uh, make them explore uh, these also on their own. See the 3D view if you see it, the mountains. The 3D view, how the mountains look like. These are the Himalayan mountains. See. So it looks interesting. If you make them, you know, once in a fortnight or when you're dealing with that topic, you can always, uh, you know, use these things to uh, make your class interesting and help them to explore these tools you can show them the valleys how v-shaped valleys u-shaped valleys and all these things uh, can be seen from this
Okay. So these are there. I'll stop sharing. Anybody has any question? Okay, so uh, I'll be sharing the presentation with the with your coordinators. You can take it from uh, them, right? Anybody has any question? Or anybody wants to share uh, their experience if they have used any tool or uh, related to uh, these tools, any of the tools may, might not be here. There are so many tools you can use. Anybody can uh, wants to share uh, <clears throat> their experiences with us? Or anybody wants to say something? Ma'am, is there a possibility to post the PPT? Uh, Ma'am, I'll be sharing with your coordinators. You can take it from them. Ah. Right? Oh. They have this presentation for the last last week also. Uh, we had a training session, so there also I shared the. Uh, I'll again share it with them today. You can ask them; you, you will get it. Acha, okay. You Musa has used uh, Google uh, Earth to show Lakshadweep to me. Yes, yes. You, it make it becomes very interesting if you do that. Do we have to leave the room now? Maybe, I think. Or, uh, automatically, we will be sent to that room. Uh, by now, tea break will... So, Achha, so I think we have to go to that room, leave room, and go to that room, right? We have to go to the main room. Uh, so we can... Yes? They themselves will declare that uh, tea break. Uh, no, ma'am, we have to go back to that room, main room. So in the corner, left side, uh, sorry, right side, it's written leave room. So we can leave room, this room, and go to back to the main room where we were there. Uh, ma'am, are you MSc Geography and PhD in that? Uh, ma'am, I'm uh, MA, MPhil, PhD all in Geography. Okay. okay. Huh. Let's go to that room, main room. Leave room and we'll be directed to the main room. Don't leave meeting. Leave breakout room.